Hello and welcome to the uh, coming up with the health score workshop. Um, this is a workshop that uh, I'm going to explain why I came up with. But one of the reasons I came up with this was because I was just starting to get very upset by so many people that I loved and I thought influenced the world that were always having health problems that couldn't do anything. And so I remember reading, uh, watching this Ray Vanderlaan DVD. Uh, faith lessons from the promised land and he would goes into the symbolism of the Bible and what's going on in certain locations and I just remember watching this one DVD about being a living standing stone or a living standing stone how to influence the world around you and make a significant difference in your culture so for some reason it just stuck with me and therefore uh, standing stones chiropractic came about and back to life chiropractic uh, get fit program is part of that and so you know I started my practice in 1994 after being hit by a bus and I couldn't get well my mom took me to a chiropractor he got me well I didn't have to get surgery I got off drugs and I just loved it so much I became a chiropractor so years later I started a wellness program with another uh, chiropractor we joined all our information and combined over 30 years of clinical experience between both of us and while we did that we didn't want to like counter counter contradict each other or or say anything different so we went and sat down for a couple hours and figured out uh, what we wanted to do with our patients and so but it was interesting because we saw a common thread of wellness attributes that we saw on our different patients and then and we just noticed that certain things that they did kept them from crisis and sickness and so after analyzing all this I came up with seven general areas of wellness that is what the wellness score is based off of and what the and the cheat sheet to health is all based off of. And so it was nice because we what we realized is that when you get real busy as a practitioner, you don't have time to educate anymore. And so therefore we came up with the coaching and the workshop series and the Get Fit programs. So so this is based off the seven general wellness areas that we saw combined in our practice of 30 years. And that, then after running a wellness clinic and helping run a wellness clinic for uh, several years now, I mean, you just these are just common threads that need to be taken care of to be healthy. So, so the one that, so what happens is we come up with a, we take all these um, seven areas, nutritional, cardiovascular, flexibility, strength, posture, nervous system, and feet and arches, and we made up individual score sheets that were easy. Some you could do at home and some need to be done maybe a little bit more sophisticated. So, but everything can be done um, and then everybody has a score sheet, but you'll notice a certain gray mark on certain tests. Those are all things that you can be done at home. And then other things are more sophisticated, like computer programs and things that can do that. But the main thing is just to come up with a health score in each area. And so, this is uh, Barbara. She was my, she's a wife, grandmother, clown, singer. She ran the nursery at church, treasurer at church, office manager at my office years ago. That's me years ago in my first office, Schuler Chiropractic. Office manager, she had COPD and emphysema. She smoked her whole life and I mean she knew that she'd been bad. But she died at age 65 after a chemical stress test. She took a chemical stress test, it plummeted her blood pressure, they couldn't get back and she ended up dying. And so when I, when I came up with this, well, this program, I was driving back and forth from, from Louisville to Indiana and trying to start this wellness clinic with my friend. Uh, you know, this happened to her. She died, and it just drew more. It made me want to do this wellness program even more. And she was a big advocate of it. She felt better doing these things. She just happened to get this chemical stress test that just she her body just couldn't handle. So it just fueled more fire for me to want it to, to come up with a system and a program that would get you out of crisis and into prevention. And so, you know, part of this is dedicated to her. So she was very, she was excited about the whole program when we were working on it. So here's the Connected to Wellness uh, uh, Health Score Workshop. So do you believe your health care attitude affects your health choices which affect your health? Well, I mean, that's no-brainer. Everybody knows that. Here's, I used to do the WWE, OVW wrestlers for several years, and there's a couple of them. 
and we come to the office to get adjusted. I show them some moves there. Here's a couple uh, patients of mine um, who lost a lot of weight. <laughs> So much that he, they actually fit in his pants. They both fit in his pants. And they're big advocates of eating well and chiropractic and exercise naturally and not taking medications and surgery. So, you know, your health attitude does affect your health choices. So there they are. And they did this all naturally. Just like, just like we're going to teach you. So, you know, optimal health is on the right side of wellness. And that's a certain attitude. And then there's illness, which is on the left side, which is disease, multiple medications. So we're going to, it just shows you the different developments of health and how you can snowball into bad. So you start off well when you're born. And then the things that we do and the interferences that we get and the things that, how we eat and exercise and think, you know, will cause us to snowball for bad. And a lot of us are living in a false wellness here or comfort zone where there's no symptoms, there's, we're inconsistent in our nutrition, our exercise, our health's not a high priority. Then we get into symptoms and drug therapy, loss of normal function. And then disease is multiple medications, poor quality of life, potential comes limited, body has limited function. So where would you, where would be the best time to move toward wellness? Well, anytime, I think, but... <laughs> But how do you know where you are on this? You know, how do you know how well you are? And let's see, you really can't. You can go off your symptoms eventually, but eventually you need to come up with a health score. And so, depending where you are, depends on how much work you have to do. And so... Um, I mean, we should, we should probably be able to get you.